What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Fashion TV, and tonight I'll go with my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you please watch this full video before you connect with me the right way. Hit that red button and turn on notifications when I premiere a brand new video on go live on YouTube. And also, follow my social media. The links will be down below in the description. My Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Now, let's talk about SmackDown. Now, SmackDown was a 6 out of 10, and I'm leaving just that. Then, now, forever together, the WWE video leads us into the show. As we go into the arena, we hear music. We hear the music of the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns makes his way to the ring alongside the Bloodline, which consists of Paul Heyman, undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, The Uso, Sami Zayn, and Solo Sequoia. Solo Sequoia. All right, replay our show. From the WWE Crown Jewel press conference last Saturday in Las Vegas, Roman Reigns and Logan Paul had a conver confrontation. In six weeks, they will fight in Saudi Arabia for the WWE for the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, which that match is going to be squash. The Ro Roman Reigns is going to beat Logan Paul at Crown Jewel. I'm calling it right down the middle. But anyway, the bloodline are all in the ring. Paul Heyman hands Roman Reigns the microphone. The crowd is really buzzing with a mix of cheers and boos. Roman Reigns says, Salt Lake City, acknowledge me. The crowd roars. Paul Heyman takes the microphone back and says, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. What, what do you call people from Utah? Paul Heyman calls them Salt Lake idiots. The crowd boos, so he rem reminds them, that you don't boo the wise men. That there are a lot of items on the blood a lot, lot of items on the bloodlines checklist. So let's go through them first. We start with the the undisputed universal champion of all sports and entertainment, Roman Reigns. Some people are complaining that it, it was Drew McIntyre moment on his home turf. Neither car did what Walls or Scotland, not any place on the planet is not Drew McIntyre's universe. The universe multi, 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 multi universe and the meat in the metaverse are controlled by Roman Reigns. Now that McIntyre has another bridge to to cross, let's talk about Solo. Heyman wishes he could take credit for the coup, the, the coup to bring him in. It wasn't Roman Reigns or the Uso. Solo was sent by the elders of the Samoans dynasty. Um, Solo was sent because Brock Lesnar took out the wise man. Someone has to stop the conspiracy against Roman Reigns. If you thought the bloodline was unstoppable before, now there is an enforcer to ensure Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns reign on the throne, on the throne of the island of. Real relevance. That enforcer is solo. This opens up Jimmy and Jay Uso to considerate on their pursuit of greatness and history. It opens up the Usos to their pursuit of immortality. Jimmy Uso says it's the Usos versus the Brawling Roots. You hear it again. Still. Undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Jay Uso says, Cause you the tools and we the ones. Roman Reigns takes the microphone back and thinks, thanks for a few moments. The crowd is buzzing. Roman Reigns calls Sequoia over who who they are only calling solo right now. Um, He may have lost his la his last name. The elders may have sent him, but he answers to Roman Reigns now. Roman Reigns says, acknowledge me. Solo takes the microphone and says, I acknowledge you, my tribal chief. They embrace and in the ring. The music plays. They go to leave, but Sami Zayn stops them. Heyman asks what he's doing. Sami Zayn says he just wants to say that he's not technically blood, but the way they have taken him in, as a family, as of late, he wants to show his gratitude and publicly acknowledge the tribal chief. Roman Reigns laughs in disbelief. Sami Zayn stands there and the crowd chants his name. 
Roman Reigns says she likes Sammy, but what is, what is he talking for right now? Why is he saying anything right now? Sammy saying looks startled. Sam, Roman Reigns says he sees what been happening here. Um, but why he but but why doesn't he have their shirts on? Roman Reigns wants the wants to know what's going on. Why is he tagging along? What's this about? What does he want? Roman Reigns wants Sami Zayn to take up take their shirt off. Sami Zayn looks nervous and asks if Roman Reigns is kidding. If this if if this is about what happened with Logan Paul last week, he can explain. Roman Reigns says he's not going to tell Sami Zayn again. Take their shirt off now. Roman Reigns calls for Jay and Jay also rips Sami Zayn's shirt off. Oh, that part, Jay, Jay, Jay Uso wasn't having that. He was not having that. Uh, okay. Roman Reigns says he needs Sami Zayn to listen for once. Roman Reigns doesn't want to see him in that shirt ever again. Sami Zayn will never wear a Bloodline shirt again. Sami Zayn looks devastated. Sami Zayn won't wear it again because Roman Reigns got him a new one. Roman Reigns tossed him a shirt that says Sami Zayn Honorary Oose. Sami Zayn is elite, and Jay looks dis disgusted in the background. Oh, he was pissed off about this one. Jay Uso's pissed off. The the look on Jay Uso's face really says it all. Showstopper TV. I know you're watching this, man. Um, and yeah, shouts to my boy Showstopper TV, man. He did his thing on his live stream today, so I gotta applaud him for that. So I got I had to give him his stars and strikes and give him credit for what's due. But anyway, let me continue. A loud Sami Zayn chant picks up. Sami Zayn chants, dan I'm sorry, Sami Zayn dance around the ring and joy. Roman Reigns asks if he has anything to say. Sami to say. Sami Zayn says, I acknowledge you, Tribal Chief. Sami Zayn hugs Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns looks confused before hugging him back. The crowd loudly cheers. Jay looks upset. Oh, Jay Uso was upset. He was just pissed off. I'm like, why Sami Zayn? Like, like Jay Uso said, he don't want to be on Sami Zayn. He don't. He don't want Sami Zayn in the bloodline. That's the look on Jay Uso's face. All right, let me continue. The Brown Bruce are watching backstage with Sheamus. Okay, so we go to commercial break later tonight. Braun Strowman will battle Otis. SmackDown Women's Champion Liv Morgan is on her way to the ring. So we get a non-title SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, Liv, Liv Morgan versus Lacey Evans. Um, this match, I must say, this match was um, this match was terrible. They lock up Lacey Evans, props her to the corner before shoving her, shoving her for shoving her a few times. Mor Liv Morgan slaps her in the face, so Lacey Evans kicks her in the mid section. Liv Morgan reverses a whip. And drops down, but Lacey Evans rolls her over, rolls over her. Lacey Evans takes her down and punches her. Liv Morgan reverses a whip and drops down before getting for going for a leapfrog, but Lacey Evans big boots her out of out of midair. Lacey Evans shoots, shouts that Liv Morgan is an extreme. Um, Liv, Lacey Evans attacks her in the corner and breaks her on the ropes. Lil Morgan tries to fight back, but Lacey Evans cuts her off. Lil Morgan drops her and whips her to the corner before hitting a high knee. Lil Morgan goes for a running elbow, running back elbow, but Lacey Evans moves. Lacey Evans takes her down and, and pulls. Lacey Evans hits a snap mirror and applies a chin lock. Lil Morgan fights up, but Lacey Evans knocks her back. Um, Lacey Evans goes for a slingshot. So, but Liv Morgan moves. Lacey Evans punches her on the apron and drives her onto the ring post. So we go to commercial break. We we come back from the break to see Lacey Evans applying a chin lock. Liv Morgan tries to fight up, so Liv Morgan so Lacey Evans grounds her and punches away at her. Um, Lacey Evans throws her down and talk trash before throwing her across the ring. Um. Liv Morgan gets to her knees and tells Lacey Evans to bring it on. Lacey Evans kicks her in the face for a two count. Lacey Evans takes her down and grapevines the neck. Um, Liv Morgan managed to kick her in the face a few times to to get out. Um, Lacey Evans rolls out of the ring to recover. Um, Lacey Evans goes under the ring and pulls 
out a broom, but she tosses she tosses that away. Lacey Evans then grabs a candlestick and gets in the ring. Lacey Evans swings, but Liv Morgan ducks and hits a cold breaker. A cold breaker. Lacey Evans follows up with the. I mean, Liv Morgan follows up with the Oblivion for the victory. The winner of the match, Liv Morgan. Now the outcome did the, the outcome was um was a botch. Liv Morgan picks up the candlestick and thinks thinks about it before dropping it dropping it down. Liv Morgan then grabs the candlestick and the loads on Lacey Evans with some shots. Um, Le, um, Liv Morgan knocks her out of the ring and uses the candlestick to hit to hit a leg sweep into the lead barricade. That that spot was that spot was terrible. Liv Morgan goes under the ring and pulls out a table to to a big ovation. Liv Morgan sets up the table and puts Lacey Evans on it at ringside. Liv Morgan goes into the ring and climbs to the top rope before standing on the ring post. Liv Morgan then hits a picture perfect centaur splash on Lacey Evans through the table. Wow! Liv Morgan shots shots into the camera. To Ronda Rousey, that she's getting extreme. I think, I think um, Liv Morgan is going to cheat at Extreme Rules. That's what I'm saying. I think she's going to cheat at Extreme Rules, but I know Liv Morgan is going to retain at Extreme Rules. But anyway, let's move on. Hero is hanging out backstage. They hosting a watch party for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match. They don't care who wins because they're next. The Street Profits walk in and ask if they have some drinks for them. Montez Ford p- puts over Braun Strowman versus Otis. They ask Shinsuke Nakamura what he thinks. They all toast. So we go to commercial break. The Usos will defend the Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship against the Brawling Brutes later on, l- later tonight. Sami Zayn is backstage. Bossing around a waiter, Madcap Moss and Ricochet come up to Sami Zayn and says he changed. He's still obnoxious and um, unbearable, but now it's mag- magnified. Magnified. That's what happens when you, when your your whole head whole head is up. Roman Reigns, um, back backside. Sami Zayn warns them that. If they insult him, they're not just insulting him. All of a sudden, Solo Sequoia knocked my cat Moss and Rick Shane into one another and viciously assaulted them. Sami Zayn and Sequoia walk off. I'm going to say this right now. Ricochet needs a new gimmick. That's all I got to say. Ricochet needs, some, Ricochet needs a new gimmick. Ricochet needs to find something to do. And that's all I got to say. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you agree with me that Ricochet needs a new gimmick? But anyway, let me continue. So we get so we go to a video package, the the reign of the Usos commercial break. A Royal Rumble classic is shown from the 1995 Royal Rumble. The British Bulldog thought he eliminated Shawn Michaels, but only one of his feet hit the floor. This will become known as the Shawn Michaels rule. HBK will then eliminate the Bulldog to win the match. All right, so we get a tag team match: Maximum Male Models, Mace and Mansoor versus the New Day, Kobe Kingston and Xavier Woods. I did not really care about this match. Mansoor starts against Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods whips him into the ropes, but Mansoor pulls Mace and hits a side leg kick for a near fall. Maxine Dupree, Maxine Dupree is at ringside and grabs a camera. Mace attacks Woods and tags Mansour back in. They send Woods into the ropes for a double team. Back elbow before opposing. Max Maxine takes pictures of Max Dupree at ringside. The crowd chants New Day rocks. Xavier Woods kicks I mean I'm i I'm sorry. Xavier Woods knocks Mace down before no where was that? The crowd chants New Day rocks. Woods knocks Mace down before dropping Mansour out of the ring. Mac, the, Max Dupree quickly gets gets Mansour in the ring, and Mace makes the tag. Mace knocks King Kofi Kingston off the apron and slams Woods. Mace hits an elbow drop off the second rope. 
um, for and near fall. Vanessa attacks in, and Maxine takes pictures of them as they pose. Kingston drops his mace out of the ring. As there was, there was a man uh, for the victory. The winner of the match, the New Day. I did not really care about this match. Mansour flips out flips out in the ring. Max Dupree looks disgusted, and they shout at all of them. Max takes his jacket off with some difficult, difficult, um, and whips it on the apron. Max walks off without them. Okay, video package. Braun Strowman versus Otis. Braun Strowman battles Otis next. Commercial break. Angel, Angel. Angel and Humberto, Humberto crash hit Rose party and go for B Fab. Um, go yeah, go for um B Fab. Top dog kicks them out. Um, okay. Well, let me read that again. Angel Garza and Humberto crash crash hit Rose party and go for um Top Dollar. Top Dollar kicks them out. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, so we get Braun Strowman versus Otis. Okay, and this match, this match didn't take too long. This was a solid match. The bell rings and they circled the ring. Um, they lock up before Strowman needs him in the mid section and punches him in the corner. Strowman then throws Otis across the ring. Strowman hits the ropes and drop kicks Otis out of the ring. Master, Master Gable checks on his prize, prize, prize. Pup, 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 pulley at ringside. Strowman gets out of the ring for a Strowman Express. Gable tries to trip him, but Strowman jumps over him. Otis attacks Strowman from behind, sending him into the barricade. Otis lifts Strowman and drips his spine into the ring post. Otis gets, Otis gets Strowman in the ring. Otis hits the ropes. And and hits a disgust clothesline for a, a one count. Otis avalanche Strowman in the corner and close him down. Otis continues to punch Strowman down before hitting the ropes. Strowman quickly pops up and hits Otis with a big spine buster. Otis rolls out of the ring to recover again. Gable is talking with Otis. Strowman looks at them and exits the ring. Strowman then wipes out. Strowman wipes out Alpha Academy with the Strowman Express. Strowman gets Otis in the ring. Gable grabs Strowman's ankle, so Strowman throws him into the timekeeper's area. Strowman gets in the ring and scoops up, s scoops Otis up, but he loses him. Otis quickly driven Strowman into the turnbuckles and hits the world's strongest slam for an fall. Otis goes to the second rope and connects a beta bomb for another near fall. Otis, Otis um, goes back to the second rope and dives, but Strowman moves. Strowman gets fired up and, and sets up for a power bomb. Strowman hits the insane power bomb for the win. The winner of the match, Braun Strowman. That was a solid match. Kayla Braxton is backstage with the Brawling Roots. They chant. That is fight night. Seamus says they're made of st Sterner's um, stuff. Um, Seamus says in two weeks on the season premiere of SmackDown, Seamus will battle Gunther once again and take the Intercontinental Championship. Um, tonight it's about Rich and Butch winning the titles. They're going to hit some bangers. Um, so we go to commercial break. Now this... This um segment by Drew McIntyre was was um decent. This was a decent promo. Drew McIntyre makes his way to the ring with a big reception. McIntyre says Karen Cross likes to play games and attacks him from behind. So McIntyre went went to the top. Cross is going to have his first big match against McIntyre at Extreme Rules. McIntyre is holding a strap and says this match is designed. To inflict the maximum amount of pain at Extreme Worlds, he will battle Karen Cross in a strap match. I don't like strap matches. That's just my opinion. I don't like strap matches. But anyway, Karen Cross music hits and Scarlett makes her way to the ring. McIntyre stares at her before turning around to 
to cut off a carrying cross blindside. McIntyre hits a Glasgow kiss and drives his shoulder into the ring post. McIntyre ties the strap around Karen Cross' wrist and pulls him to the ring. Uh, McIntyre, yeah, Mac, McIntyre pulls him into a big boot and smacks his back with the leather strap. Um, Karen Cross, uh, Karen Cross win, winners pain, in pain, so McIntyre smacks him again with it. Karen Cross was out of the ring, but McIntyre used the strap to pull him back in. McIntyre hits him on the back with the strap again before hitting a clothesline. McIntyre goes to hit him again, but Scarlet slides into the ring to stop him. Scarlet then shoots a fireball into into his face. That was cringe right there by itself. But she could she kind of whips on uh, whips on it. Karen Cross attacks, but McIntyre quickly gives him the a spine buster. Scarlet sneaks up from behind and hits a low blow on McIntyre. McIntyre drops to the mat and coughs in pain. Karen Cross throws the strap on top of him and le leaves him in leaves the ring with Scarlet. Karen Cross then turns around and applies a cross jacket. Karen Cross accepts the match out of Shane Wells as he puts McIntyre to sleep. That was a um decent promo by McIntyre. All right, so we go to com commercial break. Um, replay are showing of what just happened with Drew McIntyre and Karen Cross. Damage control makes their way to the ring. So we get the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Dakota Dakota Kai. Um, uh, yeah, Dakota Kai are coming by Damage Control versus Raquel Rodriguez. Um, this match was quick, but thank God. That Raquel Rodriguez is not smiling anymore. Thank God. The bell rings and Rodriguez powers her into the corner before hitting a wild snake eye in the corner. Dakota Kai quickly boosts her back and goes for a scorpion kick. But Rodriguez blocks it. Eel Scott tries to tries for a distraction, but Rodriguez scares her away. Bailey then distracts Rodriguez. Dakota Kai hits a scorpion kick and hits a running boot in the corner. Bailey then chokes. Rodriguez on the bottom rope. Shotzi runs down to the ring and attack Bailey. Ilskar runs over it, but Shotzi takes her down too. In the ring, Rodriguez rolls to Kota Kai up for the victory. The winner of the match will quell Rodriguez. Okay. Anyway, that was just a quick match. Quick match. Okay. Bailey and Ill Sky drives drives Shasi into the barricade. Damage control double team Rodriguez. Shasi runs in and helps Rodriguez clear the clear the ring of damage control. All right, hit row party is still going on. B Fab notice Angel and her brother again. They attack Ashante three Adeno, Ashante three Adonis and and Top Dollar before running off. So, so we go to commercial break. In two weeks, Gunther will defend the WWE Intercontinental Championship against Sheamus in a rematch from, from their epic match at Class at the Castle. Next week, Bailey will battle Shasi. We'll also see Los Los Lotharius take on Hit Row. Finally, Sami Zayn and so and so and Solo Sequoia will fight Ricochet and Mad Cat Moss. So 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 the main event is next. Commercial break. So so we get the main event of the evening. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match. The Brawling Brutes. Oh, uh, hold on. The um the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, the Brawling Brutes, Rich Holland and Butch, um, are coming by Sheamus versus the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso, are coming by Sami Zayn and Solo Sequoia. This was the best match of the night right here. That's all I got to say. This match was good, and this was the best match of the night. Charles Robinson calls for the bell, and this match begins. Bush attacks Jay and takes him down before snapping his fingers. Rich Hollins tags in, and they drop drop knee on drop knees on Jay. Jay it reverses a whip, but Holland holds on and boosts him back. Jimmy quickly not I'm sorry, Jimmy quickly kicks Holland before 
I'm sorry, Jimmy quickly kicks Hollins from behind and Jay takes Hollins down. Jimmy tags in and uppercuts Hollins before chopping the chest. Um, Jay tags back in and avalanche Hollins. Um, Holland quickly um, knocks Jay down and tags in while Bush in. Um, Bush attacks Jay before going after Jimmy. The blo- the brawling Bruce hit Jimmy with a double 10 beats of the battering and knocks him off the apron. Sami Zayn and Solo Sequoia check on Jimmy. In the in the ring, Rich Holland tags in and attacks Jay Jay's arm. Bush goes to the top rope, but Jay knocks him down. Rich Holland grabs Jay, but Jay do- drives him out of the ring. The Usos then give give Bush a back body drop, and he hits the ropes hard. That was a ridiculous bump. At ringside, Jay grabs Butch and sends him into the timekeeper's area. Sami Zayn wildly celebrates, ir- irritating Jay. Jay puts Butch back into the ring and tags in Jimmy. Tags Jimmy in. Um, hold on. And tags Jimmy. Where was that? It said, where was that? Hold on. Where was that? Tags Jimmy in. And tags it down. Uh, Hollins tags. Hollins and Jimmy tag in. Um, where was that? I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. At ringside, Jay grabs Butch and sends him into the timekeeper's area. Sam saying, Riley celebrates, irritates Jay Uso. Jay. Jay Uso. Jay Uso puts Butch back into the ring and Jimmy and ties in Jimmy. Okay, that's where I was at. The Uso sends him into the Rose for a double team. Slam for a near fall commercial break. We come back from the break to see Butch fighting back, but Jimmy hits him with an insecurity. Um, Jay tags in and takes an exception with Sami Zayn getting in Butch's face. Jay gets Jay gets Butch in the ring, but Butch takes him down. Rich Hollins and Jay tag in. Hollins runs wild on him and Jay. Hollins hits Jimmy with a tilt and world slam for a near fall. Hollins charge, but Jimmy knocks him down and knocks him back. Bush blind tags and Jimmy and hits him and hits with a small drop. Um, Bush runs over Jimmy with a a vicious knee for a near fall. Um, Jimmy fights back with a right hand and char- and charge. Bush pull, pulls the top rope down. Jay Blonde tags in, and Bush knocks him down. Bush hits Jimmy with a moonsault to the floor in the ring. Bush hits Jay with a German suplex and a big kick for a near fall. The ring, Mike was, was knocked out of a moment. Knocked out for a moment. Jimmy Blonde tags in and kicks Bush back. Jay Super kicks Bush. The Usos then... Double super kicks Hollins. Bush um Bush boosts Jay and back and comes off the second row with a moonsault. Block, but the Uso super kicks him out of midair. Wow, Jimmy Jimmy covers, but Bush kicks out. Shamey snaps at ringside. Sammy Sane flips out. Jay tags in. Tags back, Jay tags back in. The Usos goes for a double team, but Bush knocks Jay down and hits Jimmy with a DDT. Jay stops Bush from making a tag, so Bush snaps his fingers. Hollins grabs Jay and, and goes for a Alabama slam, but Jimmy blind tags in. Jimmy big boots Hollins. They go for a double team super double team super kick, but Rich Hollins blocks it and slams both of them. Bush tags in. They hit a slam slash super kick combo, but Jay breaks up the pin. Sami Zayn grabs a steel chair, so so Sheamus rips it out of his hand. Imperium blonde side blonde Sheamus before before Gunther big boots him down. The Uso super kicks Rich Hollins and Butch. Butch is put in the ring, and the Usos hit the one D for the victory. The winner. The winner of the match is still your WWE, WWE, is still your undisputed undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, the Usos. This was the best match of the night right here. I ain't gonna lie. And SmackDown goes off the air.
But um, anyway, like I said it earlier, SmackDown was a six out of ten, and that's all I gotta say. But um, if you guys enjoy my WWE SmackDown review on house, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below on what are your thoughts on SmackDown, and um, and that's all I gotta say from here. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please watch this full video before you connect with me the right way. Um, turn hit that red button and hit that red bell for all notifications when I premiere a brand new video or I go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And um, tomorrow, if I don't have nothing to do, and I will and I will stream on Twitch for some WWE 2K22. And yes, people, I got my new controller, so I'm back. So I will stream WWE 2K22 over there on Twitch tomorrow. So I got you on that. But anyway, this your boy, Big Boy Faction on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Um, KFG Crew, KFG Kings, Too Sweet. I'm out of here. Gang. And I will premiere this video at 3 o'clock on a dot a.m. And that's all I got to say from here. I'll talk to you guys later. And, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow live on Twitch for some WWE 2K22. Because I have... Because I have my new controller and I'm back, baby. So I'll see you guys live tomorrow on Twitch for some WWE 2K22. Have a great night. Stay safe and always. Stay positive and stay blessed. I'm out of here. Gang.